hi guys welcome to another video so in today's video i'll be showing you how to make yogurt okay this is not just any yogurt i will be showing you how to make greek yogurt from scratch okay the reason i call it greek yogurt is because you will barely find whey okay i didn't remove any whey from it if you don't know what whey is whey is the extra liquid you you drain out from your yogurt that gives you greek yogurt okay so the way is the liquid that you want to like dispose some people use it for smoothie and other things that you can use it for okay but with this recipe you are getting straightforward greek yogurt there's no way there's nothing for you to sieve out okay this is not drinking yogurt if you want drinking yogurt you have to wait for another video that will be making drinking yogurt but today we are making greek yogurt for some reasons okay so guys um the measurement i'll be using for this is two cups of milk this milk is not brand milk like is um you know those milk you buy from cake shop is measured milk this particular one is actually dano industrial milk okay it's dano industrial milk and it's full cream so i have two cups in there and what i'm going to do i'm going to add two cups of water okay this water was boiled but i allowed it to cool for five three to five minutes because i don't want to put it boiling so i just allow it to be like on the stove for three to five minutes before adding it here so two cups of milk with two cups of boiled water okay you want to stir this to make sure that there is no lumps whatsoever you want it to be 100 percent creamy like no single lump nothing at all go ahead and mix 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 don't be tired just mix okay mix till you are satisfied mix till you can no longer see any lumps around it okay so now i'm done mixing i'm going to pass into the bowl which i'll be preserving this in okay so i mixed in the pot or in a bigger bowl if you have a bigger bowl because i want it to be well mixed so now i've passed it into the bowl i'm just still trying to make sure both the one under everything is well mixed okay <laughs> So I left this on the kitchen counter to cool off so you don't want it fully cold you just want it warm okay warm enough that your thumb or whatever finger you're using can tolerate the heat that's the temperature that you need same way you want your puff puff um, water to be warm that's the same way you want your yogurt to be warm so now i'm going to introduce my culture okay the culture i like to use if i don't have to, to um abib yogurt i usually use tito yogurt it has the life culture in it and that is why i use it okay life culture is the good bacteria that you need to form your yogurt from milk to yogurt okay so this is it i have in this bowl i actually brought this one out because you want to leave it at room temperature you don't want to add a cold yogurt to your mixture else it will not form so i actually brought that one out so that it will just like sit on the kitchen counter and then just be on room temperature so now i've added the culture i'm going to stir this a bit and yes we are going to cover to incubate just watch and see So to incubate you want to use a very thick cloth to wrap it okay 
I use this dry towel, but you can use duvet, you can use whatever cardigan, whatever thick cloth that you think you have around you. So what I do after wrapping with my towel, I just go ahead and lock this up in a nylon yeah this is what i do okay at this point i've already preheat my oven like i've turned my oven on for just five minutes and i turned it off so now i'm just going to put it back in there and like in the oven and leave it there till the next morning i always make my yogurt at night okay so yeah the next morning this is what we have let's see let's see let's see what we have guys so yeah I can see from the can already like it's looking okay so yeah this is what we have i'm just going to take my spatula and show you guys what it really looks like in there okay wow So guys this is what we have like i said this is almost like you won't get away from it okay you can still go ahead and maybe use a cheesecloth to see if you can get away you can get a little but seriously this is a greek yogurt um texture this is what it looks like don't forget you're still going to refrigerate and this is going to come out very thick so i'm going to do the needful by um using my mixer to mix this up just to make sure everything is creamy looking nice you can do this with your spatula okay but i'm just going to use my um mixer because yeah it's sitting right beside me and it's going to make it faster okay so i'm just using one of the wheel because my container is small i'm just going to use one of the mixing uh, wheel and yeah we're just going to mix this slightly like you want to see your creamy greek yogurt forming up like this is it and guys um i understand that people prefer to use pig milk like dao cocoa like those milk you can get in the supermarket that's because of taste but trust me this milk tastes exactly the same it's dano milk just sold in bags because like they measured it in the shop doesn't make it any less it comes out fine you can just tell your vendor that you want to buy dano milk made um used to make yogurts because they have two colors there's one that is kind of yellowish why this one is and this one comes out whiter you want your greek yogurt to come out looking white so go for the whiter one okay so this is what it looks like it looks light but don't don't worry just wait let me refrigerate this for say three hours okay and then we'll see i'll show you guys what the finish look is like don't go anywhere because i'm going to make parfait out from this greek yogurt for you guys okay you guys just have to wait and see all of that okay mm -hmm. 